Hi, I'm here today with Reverend Leon Campbell, Director of the Youth and Family of Agape International. He's been working with children for around 30 years and he's kindly offered to give a, a testimonial on both our books My Magical Garden and My Magical Tree, which he used this year at Mine Valley University in Croatia. So thank you for meeting me today. Um, Leon, what did you, did you see a difference in the children at the start of the class compared to the end of the class after using both books? Of course, because we unleash their imagination. And one of my goals is when I teach classes is to uh, draw out. So that's, yeah. the, that's the, really the meaning of to educate. It means to draw upon, to draw out. And so of course we found uh, that uh, their imagination soared and that's what these great books are about, to give them license to create, give them license to uh, join in with all of nature, yeah. to uh, just really have fun. And it was a very interactive experience, which I found to be very intriguing and a very engaging for them, yes. Right, and um, after using both books at Mind Valley University, do you, do you feel, um, you'll be able to take what you have learned and apply it. Do you think the children will be able to then take what they've learned and apply it in their life or throughout their life? Oh, definitely, definitely. Because th they get to see that there's so much more than just a tree. They think there's so much more than just a brook or a pond. They get to see that there's so much more than grass mm -hmm. or the clouds. And they get a chance to partnership with all of nature. And one of the things that we were able to parlay that into was um, to take care of nature, to take care of uh, this life, this love that's around them. And I think that's amazing because uh, most, many times uh, we as humans are disconnected, yeah. are separate from. And so it gives them a chance to uh, take in account the trees, take in account the leaves. And so I thought that was amazing, very amazing. Okay, lovely. Um, why do you think uh, both books and our mindfulness program are a powerful and unique tool for educators, children, uh, parents, and schools? What, what, what did you find different about uh, our work? Uh, the difference is mindfulness begins to let you see the infinites, the infinite, uh, the infiniteness of all of us. In other words, you begin to see forever. You begin to began to take a moment and know that there's uh, no limitations right. that you begin to to sit and you begin to uh, draw on the inside so to speak and not necessarily uh, with with your pen and your paper there's more to what we see with the eyes and this opens the gateway for children to begin to see I'm limitless and so that's what I found in both books because the books gave, again, they gave us license to explore, to fly. And it gave us license to see that we live in a magical, magical world. Mm. And did you find that the appendix in the back of both books, that everything a child chooses, did you find that that was also very informative? So yes. wherever the child was emotionally within themselves, did you get any feedback from that? Well, it gave them tools. Right. And they were, then they began to look at the appendix and look at uh, the things that they can do, and they they began to go on a, a sort of like a self discovery trip. They began to discover that oh, um, these things are for uh, my usage, mm. and uh, so I think that was very enlightening and and very fun because they began to take uh, simple things and be able to see how they can. Uh, uh, create from them and use them to expand their world. Yeah, I think also it helped them to understand their, um, maybe their emotions if they felt a little bit off, how they could balance themselves. Exactly. And I, I think that was also a great tool that they could carry with them, or the parents, or the teachers, or the educators, whoever's using that book at that time. And, and that's a plus because uh, they began to see that uh, um, I'm not alone. Yeah. And 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 um, they can get support from the uh, things that you would never expect to get support from. Mm.
but it's also based upon your imagination and your creativity. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, what do you think are the benefits of learning mindfulness at a certain age for any child? Well, I think it's a benefit for us all because mindfulness gets you back in touch with who you are. Mm. It creates a centerpiece that you can go to. Uh, I, I talk to the children about the difference between living on the waves and the, and the wind and the waves and, and how you're tossed about. But when you go deep into the water, there's tranquility and peace. I always relate mindfulness to that. And you begin to hear and see yeah. things that you normally would not be able to do, as, as opposed to just uh, um, resting upon the waves. Yeah, on the surface. And you really can't rest upon the waves. It's going to toss you about. Yeah. yeah. No, you're one of, that's beautiful. I've not heard that before, actually. And do you feel it's really important for our children to all learn mindfulness? Do you oh, think yes. they should take it into all the schools? Oh, yes. Oh yes, because it, it takes you back to that place in, in the womb. Mm, that inner child. That inner child. Mm. It takes you back to that place where you can take a breath and begin to draw in unknown resources, begin to draw in support, and begin to tap in to your, your, your inner wealth your inner wealth and your inner welfare, mm. your inner peace. And you begin to turn on a light where people think it's completely dark. But when you do mindfulness, you really are turning on a light. Yeah, 100%. You're, I agree. I noticed that when we've been using our books for the last four or five years in the schools and with children, that they, you can see that light has gone on. Yes. You can see there's a difference before the start of class to the end of the class and it, it's just a wonderful tool I think that bridges everybody together so by using the appendix there's a, a connection between home and school you begin to to, to draw a aha and yes. that's what you want in your yes. classrooms you wanted to draw, draw a aha aha or a some insight that they begin to say oh I know what you're talking about now yes you're right and and, and myself, as the educator, had nothing to do with that. I've just opened a door, yes. and they stepped in. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your feedback. You. It's been wonderful, and thank you These for loving our... These gym. Thank you so much. Real gym. It's so lovely. Thank yes. you. And we're just so lucky that you saw the magic that was inside of them, really. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.